Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. Wonderful morning. Praise God. We are in the Liverpool. If you have the Bible, look at the Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, verse 9 to 21. Book of Romans chapter 12. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourself. Never be lacking in jail. But keep your spiritual favor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope. Patient in affliction. Faithful in prayer. Share with the God's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless, do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with the people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everybody. If it is possible, that if I did this, depend on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my friend, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the law. On the contrary, I, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will leap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Actually, Romans chapter 12, verse 9 to 21, is a very practical message. Wonderful, very practical. Very practical message in our life, daily life. Yeah. Verse 9 says, love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Unfortunately, people, they don't hate what is evil. But they love what is evil in these days. Yeah. Hate what is evil in these days. Cling to what is good. Yeah. Hate what is evil. Yeah. And the last day, people, people, yeah, loved the love of what is evil. This is the main problem in the last day. Hate what is evil. And the verse 22 is easy to remember. Romans 12, verse 21. Yeah. 12 and 21. Do not overcome by evil, but overcome evil with what? With good. Can you overcome? Overcome evil with good. Yeah. As the gangster, he want to punch me. He want to, you know, you know, do something to me. But what shall I do? I said, Jesus loves you, bless you. And then, then I left. He said, so important. Do not overcome. Um, do not overcome by evil, but overcome evil with the good. This is the word of the Lord. And then verse 10, devote to one another. Devote to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourself. You know, very, very important. If you honor each other, if you respect one another, yeah? if you respect each other, you know, God is the glory and honor and power. Where we stay now in this area is a very, very, you know, like a slum area, very dangerous area in 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 Liverpool, like a Harlem in in New York. <laughs> you know, we we come here to preach the good news of Lord Jesus, you know, gospel, gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ for what for poor people. So many poor poor people live in this area, but we love them, but we honor one another. And never be lacking in jail, but keep spiritual favor, serving the law. We come here to serve in the law, yeah? serving Jesus. Mm -hmm. How can you serve Jesus if you're serving one another yeah? with the heart of Jesus that is a serving Lord? Yeah? You can preach the goodness of Lord Jesus. So important. Preach the God, gospel. Do you have the spiritual favor? Spiritual favor, serving Jesus. Yeah? We are so tired, I think we did over 3,000 houses. And then, you know, we put a leaflet and they're so tired about what you did. Then still, we put a leaflet, serving the law, serving the law. 
And then, you know, one of my sisters said, this is my favorite, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Yeah, be joyful, be joyful in hope, be joyful in hope, and patient in affliction. You know, three things God wants to encourage you this morning. Be joyful, be patient, be faithful. Can you see that? You are so happy, be joyful, yeah? yeah? Sure. Be joyful sure. and be patient. Yeah. And be what? Faithful. Be faithful. So important. In the last day, people, they are not faithful to each other. They are not faithful to God. Be faithful. Be faithful. Be joyful. Be faithful. Be patient. Yeah. Joyful in hope. Patient in affliction. Faithful in prayer. In prayer. This is a very practical scripture. Romans chapter 12. I just uh, uh, read it again and again and again. This is a wonderful. And share with the Dutch people. Share with the born again Christian who are in need. Practice hospitality. You see? Practice. Yeah. If some born again Christian hungry, give them food. Did you understand? Yeah? Yeah? Give them food. <laughs> yeah? You, this is what scripture say. Yeah? Very important, practically, share with, share with what? Catch people. Oh, yeah. Share. Share and care. Yeah. Yesterday, I think uh, we don't have the toilet roll. And then this is young boy said, uh, okay, we go buy the, some toilet roll. They bought the four. <laughs> we use it now. It is, it's good. This, uh, the children go to the shop and buy something. It's good to share. We the God to people, practically, practically. And we thanks be to God we are in here to share the goodness of Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then you can see um, verse 14. Bless those who persecute you. Bless do not curse. If somebody yeah, persecute you, can you bless them? Yeah. yeah are you sure? <laughs> Don't say to me hard, it's easy. easy. Can you bless them? Yes! Don't curse them. If somebody curse you, and if somebody curse you and persecute you, you know, you automatically curse them to pay back to them. Don't do it! Your job is what? What is your job? Bless them and pray for them. Yeah, pray for them. Please don't curse. Don't curse. Bless them. And how can you how can you bless them, you know, this enemy? The practically verse uh, verse twenty. Can you see the verse twenty? On the contrary, the, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. Can you imagine? If you're angry, you're angry, hungry, feed him. Yes. How? If you, your enemy is thirsty, give him something to drink. Yes. In doing this, look. In doing this. Give your food for your enemy. Yeah? yeah. Your enemy is thirsty, give the water to drink. Amen. Yeah? In doing this, you will heaping burning coals on his head. What does it mean? Do you know the coals on the head? Burning. What type of burning? So hot, yeah? When they're so hot, the heart melt and become born again. Can you say amen? Amen. This is the word. <laughs> <laughs> they thought it's misunderstood. Oh, doing this, a burning coal, and they kill them. No, no kill. Give their life to Jesus. If they give their life to Jesus, they remember, they appreciate. Do you understand? Yeah. If your enemy, actually, the Bible says your enemies are in where? Your enemy is not far away. Your enemies are in where? Your family. In your own family. Your family. Your father and mother, yeah. your brother and sister, your grandson, no, no granddaughter. <laughs> granddaughter like what? The rice and then, you know, she put uh, so much the rice for, for her. Did you understand? This is very important. If your enemy is hungry, feed them. If your, your enemy is hungry, give them water to drink. Good for you, good for them. Yeah, that is the meaning. Do not curse your enemy. When somebody persecute you, 
do not, you know, try to, and then practically also uh, the Bible, and um, verse 15, rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. Can I ask a question? If you receive the invitation, one is a funeral service, one is a wedding ceremony. Both of them is a very, very important, uh, important uh, ceremony, I mean, uh, the, the event. Which do you want to go? Funeral or wedding? Yeah, funeral. Oh. <laughs> no, you need to choose only one. <laughs> can oh. I? You are the own body. You cannot, you cannot go, go half and half. The Bible say, mention, yeah? Supporting for the moon first. Those who are moon, moon, yeah. and weeping and cry, go there. Which means funeral service is first. If you choose only one, if you choose only one, go to the funeral service. Why? Because of course, it's very important. The wedding ceremony is very important. Yeah. But if you choose only one to go there, for me, this is a principle for me. And then, Pastor, if, you, if I get a if I if I if I get the you know the conduct of this ceremony, one is a funeral, one is a wedding ceremony. I say to the people, I'm so sorry, I cannot conduct the wedding ceremony on that day. I can because I'm doing the funeral. Because the funeral, they need the comfort, they need the encouragement, they need the you know, support. Of course, the support for the wedding ceremony, we know that, but at the same time. We have to do it. That is why the Bible say, yeah, rejoice with whom? With oh, those yeah. who rejoice. Oh, yeah. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Do you understand? Yeah. If you cry, it's so, so painful, and you can come and they pray together with you and encourage you and comfort you. This is uh, what the Bible say. And then look at the verse 16. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with the people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do, do, do you understand? It's very, very important to live together in harmony and unity. Yeah? You know, in our, our group now, how many age groups? How, how many years age group? The youngest is 13. Old oh, is yeah. 74. 61 years different. You know, 61 years different, you are look like not the age group, the different age group now. We are like one family, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love one another. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. This is a great blessing. If Sister Sonny stay in the, stay in the uh, elderly, elderly, you know, the group, young no one, you know, she never, she never experienced like this. So active. 13 years old, they played football yesterday. <laughs> Can you? We are so tired, but they still play football. And then, do you understand? This is the the work of the law. Live in harmony is so important. If you don't live in harmony, it's a terrible. Hell, hell is not far away. Do you understand? Even two or three, people, four people live together in one place, one house, but there is no unity. Hell is in there. Do you understand? Even hundred people live together. Yeah, we're gonna live together. Six hundred people very soon. We got together land, land, and then build the church building and build the old houses. We live together in harmony and unity. Where is heaven? Yeah. Heaven is in there. Heaven is in our heart. Do you understand? Therefore, living harmony is very important. Yes, please live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud. It's one of the very secret the key. There is no harmony if you proud. Yeah. When the pride people came together, live together, there's no more harmony. Yeah. Pride people so selfish. Selfish people bear pride. Yeah. These people need to repent their sins. You know, live in harmony and do not be proud. Humble yourself. And be willing to assist with one another. Especially low position. What does mean low position? In here. Many people low position here in this area. It's a very rough area. But thanks be to God, we can support him for these people. And then verse 17, do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone, not only in the eyes of God. Be careful. Romans chapter 12, 
Verse 17, do not repay anyone evil for evil. Then how many of you desire to repay for evil for evil? You, you sometimes do that, you did, yeah? If somebody did it to me like this, I need to repay. I'm going to revenge. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't try to revenge. Yeah? And then to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. Do you know what this means? To do right. You, you have a conscience. Right, yeah. You have a conscience. You know what is good, what is bad. You have to do it right. Good. And then verse 18. If it is possible, as far as it, it depends on you. Live at peace with everyone. Can you live peace with the Muslims? Yes or no? Yes. Can you live peace with the gangsters? Yes. And Hindus and other religion? Well, anybody. Homeless and alcoholic. When the homeless came in, and then sister, sister told me, Pastor, your friend is coming. <laughs> <laughs> and I was laughing, okay, yes, he's my friend. And then, I mean, the homeless is my friend. Mm. I never know that the homeless. The homeless is coming, and then she said, your friend is coming, give me a leaflet. You know, I love the homeless, they are my friend. Yeah. You know. I don't angry when she say to me, your friend. I'm a friend of everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm a friend of a Muslim, friend of a Hindu, friend of a Buddhist. And then, thanks be to God, she gave the effort for homeless. I saw that. You are doing very well. You know, she gave the effort for, for homeless, and the homeless is so happy about that. It's wonderful, wonderful. You know, in these days, not many people give the effort for somebody on the street. And she, effort, and I, I, well done, you did well. But, the, yes, I find it. Live at peace with everyone. Live at peace with everybody, your neighbor, and then anyone around you. Yeah? And then verse 19, do not take revenge, my friend. But leave room for God's wrath. It is written, it is mine to revenge. I will repay, says the Lord. Which is more powerful? You try to revenge somebody and God revenge somebody. <laughs> you cannot compare. You know, leave the room for what? Leave the room for God's wrath. If some, I preach the gospel for somebody, yeah? preaching, preaching, preaching. But that man continue to reject and against me and terribly. Why should I do? Like, just my job is to pray for them and leave the room for God's wrath. It's a very dangerous scripture. If anybody receives the God's wrath, what's going to happen? Very dangerous. Sometimes God can, God can take their life. I saw with all my eyes. Do you know what was happening? Four people, since I came to UK in 29 years, yeah? four people strongly against me, strongly, strongly against me. Not the same year or different year. When they strongly against me, what shall I do? I pray, Lord, I don't know what to do. I, I would ask, I leave the room for God's wrath. Didn't watch it. Somebody strongly against me. Didn't watch it. Within six months, they died. Within six months, mm -hmm. I saw. And somebody, people who knows me, they made a rumor. Please don't against the pastor Paul song. If you strongly against the Paul song, you're gonna die within six months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't mm -hmm. like that kind of rumor. But I saw. I saw with all my eyes. If you receive the wrath of God, very dangerous. Do you see? Mm -hmm. When God angry, whatever. I saw the Old Testament. One day, over 70,000 people died. One day. Even 100, over 100,000 people died in one day. Do you know, God is a God of what? God is a God of love. And God is a God of peace and joy and blessing, and God is God of everything, but it's also God is God of wrath. Don't receive the God's wrath. Can you say amen? amen. Don't receive it. Never receive it in Jesus' name. It's very dangerous. That is why if somebody against the will of the Father in heaven, yeah, and then um, please, don't take just, revenge. yeah, don't take revenge. Just pray for that. Do not take 
revenge, my friend. But leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine, what God, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. And then I just uh, read uh, verse 20 and the 21. Once again, I can read for you. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with the good. Yeah. Do not overcome by evil. Overcome evil with the good. How can you overcome evil? How can you overcome evil with the good? Feed, <laughs> feed. <laughs> Yeah. Give them drink. I mean, not only practically, uh, this is spiritual as well. Pray for them. Yeah. Bless them. You know? I know. Give them some scripture. Yeah, you can bless them. Bless them. I believe that today, you know, you're going to do more, more, you know, half a million people live in Liverpool. And then we're going to, you're going to preach the gospel for people in Liverpool more in the morning. In the afternoon, we'll go to North Wales. It's a, a long journey. We go to North Wales and we preach the gospel in the, in the afternoon, in the evening. And hopefully, we can come back here before 8 o'clock in the evening, but it's quite a long journey. After that, tomorrow morning, we'll go to Manchester to preach the gospel. Do you know how many population in Manchester? 600,000 people. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we visited over 3,000 houses. Today, Hopefully we can be to around the four, five, four or five thousand houses today, and tomorrow also another two, three thousand houses in Manchester, and then also long journey. I need to go back to home tomorrow Saturday for Sunday service in there. I, I love to arrive in London by seven p.m. Uh, or six p.m. tomorrow evening. Thank you so much. You pray for us, Sister Lillian. And Sister Esther and then all our brothers and sisters and then yes and next month in June we we'll go to Scotland to preach the gospel Scotland mm -hmm. Edinburgh and Glasgow uh, even Highland and all the Scotland we're gonna preach we go we're gonna go there five days or six days we don't know yet but we're gonna prepare for the mission to Scotland next month Keep on praying for us. And it's a long journey. I was so tired. I, I, I went to bed last night, 9.30 in the evening last night. <laughs> so tired. It was a long journey to drive, around a six hours drive from London to here. When I was so tired in, in, the, in the minibus, and the sister Sophie and the even brother Jeremy and all the people, they gave the special massage for my neck and my back and my head. Praise God. Now, we're going to have a breakfast and uh, we keep on preaching the goodness of the Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to pray for us. Uh, we need the protection from all the dangers and darkness. And uh, we know that Satan not very happy <coughs> at all because we come here. We preach the goodness of the Lord Jesus. Then I preached the gospel for five years old, a young boy in front of mommy. He's the young guy, is young boy, five years old boy. I don't want. He was crying. I don't. He's so angry. <laughs> you know, Liverpool people, children, so angry children. Oh, I was shocked. Even the children, they they smoking in weed, marijuana. Children, but we pray for revival in Liverpool. I know some people they are so happy. And yesterday, Mr. Steve, um, I you know the, the Liverpool man, he's a wonderful man. He got changed him and he, he become born again. I have, his, I have his mobile number. I call him and send a text message. Keep on praying for us. Yeah, let's pray. Father, I thank you. Romans chapter 12, verse 9 to 21 is a very practical message we receive. Would you bless this land, Liverpool and North Wales and Manchester and all the uh, Northwest of England? Father, hear this land. If my people humble themselves and pray and then seek his face and turn away from the wicked way and God will forgive all our sins and they heal the land. Can you heal this land? Oh Lord, we thank you for your protection and your grace and your mercy. Using us mightily for your glory. 
as a revivalist in UK and all over the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. Bye now.